Hello, hello, people. How are you tonight? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Hector. Open your microphone. Okay, now, hello. Welcome one more time. Okay, this is our last week for this module. So we are we're going to finish this week. This uh, basic or pre beginners three. Vi por ahí en el grupo, verdad, que ha habido algunas cosas con el con la plataforma. Pero quizá más tarde que estén conectados más, vamos a, a hablar un poco de la plataforma. Ok. Ok. So, let's get started tonight with the activity that you had to do last week. Ok. Mm -hmm. Last week, we finished with this reading about Kelly, Robert, and Erin. Talking about their activities on the weekend. Let's read it quickly. And then I gave you a questionnaire to respond some questions about this reading. Okay, the first is about Kelly. And Kelly said, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Now let's read about Robert. Robert, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Mm -hmm. And Erin, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Any question with the reading? Any difficult word or? I. I I have a, a Saul. I have I have mm -hmm. a, a, a one question mm -hmm. about this. When I say when I say ver uh, en friends y en paz, um, cook y a cook. Ah, okay. Uh, cook, cooked. Is in the past. Yeah. Remember. Um, Okay. Let, me, let me go over here. We got that. Uh, e, e, ED. ED. Mm -hmm. 
here we have that. You remember this? Okay, I see. Thank you, sir. I Cook is like this. It's like look. Really? Mm -hmm. Termina con K. Entonces, the pronunciation is, in this case, look, look looked. The ED sounds like t. t. Mm -hmm. Look, looked. Cook, cooked. Okay? Okay, Anders. Yes, thank you. Very good. Any other question? For me, Saul, I, I know. I understand okay. the different words. Okay. The three conversations, the Kelly, Robert, and Erin. Perfect. Well, let's check this. I gave you some questions to check true or false. Example, Kelly didn't have a great weekend. True or false? Well, that is false. This is false. This is false, yeah, because Kelly, yeah, Kelly said that they he said, went to my best uh -huh. friend, he said, Helen's wedding. Yeah, beautiful dress, I really like her husband, I'm really happy, yeah. So it was good. I had a great weekend, she says. Yeah, I had a great... He said, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She had a great week. Okay. Good. Now, what about number one? Say, Kelly went to her best friend wedding. That's this is true. 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 Okay. Well, let's mark it. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. True. Okay. True. Next. Next is um, no, this is Kelly's best friend got married in a hotel. False. That's false. Why? Uh, in the home, went to marry at home. She, she got, got married, married uh -huh, at home. At home. Uh -huh. Very good. Next, Helen. Helen's parents served a wonderful meal before the ceremony. False. False. Why? Um, it's after. Yes, they served the meal after the ceremony. After, not before. After. Excellent. Good. Next. Robert had a terrible weekend. True. True. Okay. Very this good. True. Yes. Robert had a terrible weekend. That's true. Then Robert and his friends went to a concert. Robert and his friends. Mm -hmm. True. True. Yes, it is true. Aquí, aquí yo me comí una té. A ver si lo puedo poner. Went. Okay. Saúl, in, in, the, in the conversation. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Robert, Robert said, uh, I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. Yes. I followed my parents. Mm -hmm. And they and they came and got us. We mm -hmm. have finally got home. And then this morning I am so tired. Yes. Yes, so For she me, had a he uh-huh. Yes, is it false? No, he, he he was at a concert. He Listen, fue a concert. Robert and his and his friends went to a concert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Sí, sí fueron ah, pero, al concierto. Pero, 
I didn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, he didn't like the music. Sí, this is, uh -huh. they this, went is, to the... this is true. Okay. 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 Robert uh, enjoyed the music. False. False. Yeah. Why? I didn't like the music at all. Yeah. He, Robert, he, <laughs> he didn't like the music at all. Exactly. Then, this is always about Robert. They got home at 10 p.m. False. False. Why? Yes, sir. Um, she, bueno, mm. he come at home um, at 10 a.m. Yes, they got home at 10 a.m. See, at 10 this morning, we finally got home at 10 this morning, says, no p.m., 10 in the morning. Okay. Now, Erin. Erin went camping for the first time. This is true. Yes, that's true. Erin went camping for the first time. True. True. She got up late on Sunday. Uh, false. False. Why? She er she got up early. She got up early, yes. Good. And number 10, she liked camping. False. False. Why? She didn't really like camping. Okay, yes. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really like camping. Mm -hmm. Here, yeah. I didn't really like camping. But I learned a lot. Yeah, uh, she learned a lot. Didn't... But camping didn't like her. Okay, very good, very good. No? Perfect. Okay, that was your homework. Now, uh, I want to check out this vocabulary about activities people can do in the summer. Okay, let's check for basically for the pronunciation. Activities for the summer, okay? Number one, repeat please, build a sand castle. Build a sand build a castle. castle. Yes, okay. Number two, hike a lot. Hike a lot. Number three, learn how to scuba dive. Learn how to scuba dive. Scuba dive. The scuba, scuba dive. dive. Yes. Number four. Travel by, by plane. Travel, travel by, plane. by plane. Five. Read a very funny story. Read, read a, a very, very funny, funny story. story. Six. Play a lot of computer games. Play a lot, play a lot of computer games. games. Seven. Eat lots of ice cream. Eat lots of ice cream. Eight. Lots of ice cream. Yes. Eight. Spend a week in New York. Spend a week in New York. Spend a week in New York. Nine. Climb a mountain. Climb a mountain. 
Ten, sunbathe on the beach every day. Sunbathe on the beach, on the beach every, every day. day. Eleven, go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Twelve, surf a huge wave. Surf a huge, a huge wave. wave. Thirteen, sleep in a tent. Sleep in a, in a tent. tent. Fourteen, drive to Italy. Drive, drive to Italy. To Italy. <clears throat> Fifteen, make a campfire. Make, make a, campfire. a campfire. campfire. Sixteen, have a barbecue. Have, have a barbecue. A barbecue. A barbecue. Seventeen, visit a museum. Visit, visit a, museum. a museum. Eighteen, go sightseeing on a tour bus. Go sightseeing on a go tour bus. Go sightseeing on a tour bus. Nineteen, pack my bag to go camping. Pack, pack my, my bag, bag to go camping. Go camping. 20, drink coconut milk. Drink, drink coconut, coconut milk. milk. 21, fly a kite. Fly a, fly kite. a kite. 22, do lots of sports. Do, do lots, lots of sports. Of sports. Sport. 23, roast some marshmallows. Roast, roast some, some marshmallows. marshmallows. <laughs> Uh -huh. 24 buy some souvenirs <clears throat> buy, buy some, some souvenir. souvenirs buy some souvenirs 25 take a lot of selfies take, take a lot of selfies take a lot of selfies 26 ride a roller coaster Ride a, Ride roller, a coaster. roller coaster. 27. Stay in a five star hotel. Stay in, in a five star, star, star hotel. hotel. And 28. Swim in the sea. Swim, swim in, the sea. in the sea. Okay. Any question with this vocabulary? For me, no. <laughs> okay. Very good. Number ten. Number mm -hmm. ten. Number ten. Mm -hmm. Sunbathe. Sunbathe. On the beach. Sunbathe Sun on the beach every day. Sunbathe on the beach every day. Uh huh. Let me find the picture. Is this? this yeah sunbathe on the sun uh, sunbathe um, on the beach you see the picture yes sir mm -hmm. es, bathe is the the the, the lucharse, bañarse, ¿no? sunbathe tomar el sol Any other question? No. Ah. Um. Come, chair, teacher, teacher. Come. Come, chair. What number is? What number? Sixteen. Six. Sixteen. Make a campfire. Camp oh, campfire. Campfire. Make a campfire. Is let me find the picture. Fogata. Yes, 
this with this make a campfire teacher what's the meaning climb 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 is this what is he going to do he's going to climb a mountain climb to the volcano climb uh -huh. exactly yes yes you can also climb a tree yeah you climb a tree to eat mangoes okay climb a mountain okay. climb a tree climb um a ladder, una escalera también, climb. Okay. 18. 18, go sightseeing. Go sightseeing is this. So you go to watch, to see, you know, take pictures and, and, and see, ir a, uh, a ver el paisaje, a, a you can go sightseeing, no, no solo en el campo, sino you can go sightseeing in a city. Okay, you go sightseeing to el centro histórico. So, usted, como, wow. como algo así como turistear. Turistear, ¿verdad? Lo que llamaríamos turistear, que solo va okay. a observar, a ver, ¿verdad? A disfrutar el paisaje, los, o los monumentos, o... ¿Verdad? Los edificios. Eso es go sightseeing. A ver. Go sightseeing on a... Uh... Mm -hmm. You go sightseeing to a taco, to Guayua, o... Mm -hmm. yeah? O a, a city, o una ciudad. Ok. ¿Any other question? Number three, teacher. Learn how to scuba dive. Scuba dive. Aprender que, como. Ya te digo, este es. Scuba dive. Got it? Ah, ok. Ya. Eso es a, a bucear, pero con, con tanque. El otro que solo se va con un tubito así, ¿verdad? Eso se Snorkel. llama snorkel. Snorkeling. 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 Este ya es con, con máscara, tanque y todo. Scuba dive. ¿Algo más? Ok. Perfecto. Uh, now let's get started then with today topic today we are going to start studying how to talk about the past using the verb be the verb be okay hemos estudiado regular verbs irregular verbs but verb be is very particular too. So we're going to study how to talk about past using verb be. So let me play uh, the video for this grammar topic, okay? We're going to watch a video about this. Let me mute your microphones for a moment. Okay. And watch this video, please. What we said is. Okay. 
It's a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about 
yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Let's take a look again to the conversation. Okay. But first, tell me, what do you see in the picture? What do you see in this picture? Hello? Where are they? Where are they? Yes? A uh, Korean girl. Mm, pero, but where are they in the picture? Are they in an uh, office? Are they in a hospital? Uh, are they in a... Estilista? Um, Estilist? In the barbecue. Uh, um, mm. Hello, Claudia. Hola. Uh huh. Where, where? Como el estilista. Yeah, but what is this place? That place. Uh, beauty salon. Yes, it's a beauty salon. Beauty salon. Okay. This is a beauty salon. Okay. And. Who is this? Who is this guy? How how do you call this 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 guy? What is his occupation? Yes. Uh -huh. He's a stylist. Okay. stylist. Uh huh. Stylist. Stylist or hair, you can call it hair dresser. Mm -hmm. It's a hair dresser or a hair stylist. Okay, good. What else? What 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 else can you mention from the picture? What do you see? Tell me, what do you see in the picture? There's a hairstylist, they are in a beauty salon. Mirror. There is a mirror, uh huh. Scissors. There are scissors. Uh huh. This is a mirror. Scissors. Korean girl. A Korean girl, uh huh. What is this woman uh, reading? What is this woman reading? is that newspaper uh, I don't think it's newspaper a uh, magazine a magazine yes a magazine mm -hmm. the, <clears throat> and what is this different kind of the, of the style of the herb uh -huh. uh -huh, okay and, and what is this Is, um, a hair dryer, a hair dryer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, very good, very good. Now, let's practice the conversation. Repeat after me, please. Where were you born, Melissa? Where, where, where were you born, you born Melissa? I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. 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 Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? 
Oh, you were born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Mm. You were pretty young. young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, yes I, was I was only 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to college right away? Right away. Right away. No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. No. No, no, my English was very good. Very good. I, I took English, English classes for years first. Years years first. first. Well, your English is really good now. Well, well your English, English, English is really, is really good, good now. Good now. Good now. now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Your thank you. English is pretty, pretty good, good too. Very good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, some questions. What is the meaning of pretty young? Pretty young. Uh huh. This is a. Another. Joven bonita. Uh, no. no. Pretty young is a mm. uh, joven. Una muchacha guapa, bonita. No. Una joven, joven bonita. No. Yeah, it's una the same niña, word. Una, I know. Pretty is una, una niña, for you. Una, una, for you is bonita. Yes. Bastante, but, bastante joven. But yeah, in this case, pretty means very. Pretty is equal very. Very, very young. Yes. You were very young. Is the same. Vaya, vaya. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Max, terrible. Sáquenlo. <laughs> and this is here, pretty good. Pretty good. It's like very good. Okay. Understand, okay, thank you. So in this case, pretty equals very. Okay? Okay. Pretty okay. young. Muy joven. Pretty young, pretty good. What else? Let me see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, when when the use the the word. Cuando podemos usar esa palabra, pretty in lugar de very. Whenever you want. Cuando usted quiera. Mm -hmm. so you say, hey, that shirt, that shirt is pretty mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Pretty nice. It's a pretty nice sh uh, shirt. Okay. So, podemos usarlo en lugar de very. Okay? Um, and what is, what is this? Right away. Right away. Inmediatamente. Exactly. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to college immediately? That is another form. Okay, right away. Okay? Okay. Okay. So you pueden usar eso cuando si alguien dice, hey, uh, come here. You still say, oh, right away. Huh? Ahorita. Ya voy. Huh? Inmediatamente. Eso sí podemos usarlo también. ¿Verdad? Right away is uh, similar right now. Right now. No, or... no immediately. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Inmediatamente, ¿no? <clears throat> ok. O si quiere decirle a alguien, hey, Clean the clean the house right away. Yeah. I assume. Okay, in five minutes. In five minutes, okay, right away. Okay, very good, pretty good. Now, uh, I am Chuck and you are Melissa, okay? 
Okay. okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born I in, was Korea. in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, no I no. came I here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Just yes, I, yes was I was 17. 17. Did you go to college right away? No. 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 My English was very good. good. Very good. So, so I took I English classes for two years first. Third, third. First. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Thanks. English Thanks. is pretty Thanks. good Thanks. too. Thanks. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Yeah, but I was. Now uh, you are Chuck. You begin. One, okay. two, three. Where, Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, oh so, so you were born, born in the US? US. US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm. You were pretty young. Pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you, Did you go, go to college, to right, away? college right, away? right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Wow. Well, well, your English is really, really, good, good, really now. good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I was yeah. born here. here. Okay, very good. Now observe these sentences, okay? Where were you born, Melissa? So, where were you born? And I was born in Korea. So, you weren't born in the US. You were pretty young. I was only 17. My English wasn't very good. I was born in here. Okay, so we have verb. This is the past of verb B. Where, was, weren't, the negative form. Where, was. Uh, wasn't, wasn't, and was. was. Okay? Okay. So, was and where are the past form of B. The past form of B. Okay, let's take a look to that in the grammar. Here. Let me raise this. So, the past of B. Repeat after me, please. I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the US. I wasn't born in the US. You were pretty young. You were, you were very young. You weren't very old. You weren't very, very old. She was 17. She was 17. She wasn't in college. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. We weren't, we weren't born, born in the same, born country. In the same country. country. They were in Korea in 1998. They were, they were in, Korea in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. They weren't, they weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Okay, so wasn't is the contraction for was not. And weren't is the contraction for were not. So, uh, just let me write something here to make it clear. So, in present, we say, I am, you are, 
Mm-hmm. He is, she is, we are, they are. This is present. Mm -hmm. So, the past for I am is I was. 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 The past for you are is you uh, were. 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 You were. were. Mm -hmm. The past for he is, is he? He was. He was. He was. was. The past for she is is she, she, she was. was. She was. The past for we are. We were. We were. We were. And the past for they are. They were. They were. They were. Okay. Okay. Very good. And the negative form you see is very simple. Is was plus not. Were plus not. Okay. That's not. So you see here the negative form is simple. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, they weren't. This is the negative form. Was, it wasn't, she wasn't, it was. Mm -hmm. Wasn't, was not, weren't, were not. Okay, I have something for you here to practice. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I want you to do this, to work on this. Look at these sentences. Can you see them? We're going to change to past in affirmative form and negative form. For example, past secretary. I was a secretary. Ah, I was. Uh, I was the secretary. Secretary. Sorry. And the negative form? I wasn't. I wasn't. Was passing the, the secretary. secretary. <laughs> the secretary. Okay. You are the teacher. You were the teacher. You, you, you were, were the teacher. You were the teacher. Negative. You weren't. You weren't. You weren't. Were the teacher. Samuel. Samuel is the manager. Samuel was 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 the manager. The manager. The manager. She is in the office today. She was. She was. In the office today. Was in the office today. Negative. She was. She was. She was in the office today. Yes. The bar, the we are in class tonight. We were, we were in, class in class tonight. tonight. We were, were in class tonight. tonight. Negative. We weren't. We weren't in, in class, class tonight. tonight. Yes. And finally. Yeah, they are in the park. They were, they were, they were in, in the, the park. park. In the park and negative, they weren't, they weren't, they weren't in, the, in park. the park. In the park, perfect. You're good. Okay, any question? No, no. okay. Now, um, 
I'm gonna give you this exercise to practice uh, maybe at home because it's a little bit late now. Okay. 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 So I think it's in WhatsApp already. Ah, in, in, in WhatsApp? Yeah, I, I, I already sent it to you in WhatsApp. But now let me show you the questions with the past of B. Quickly, let's take a look to the questions. Question with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, yes he, was. he was. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in uh, income? Yes, yes, they, they were. were. No, they, no weren't. they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, so these are yes, no questions. Because the answer is yes or no. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you observe, yes, no questions, begin with was or where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was or where. Mm -hmm. Then the subject. Okay, subject. And finally, the complement. Mm -hmm. This is the structure for yes, no questions. And these are information questions. These are different information questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because where were you born? I was born in Korea. Mm -hmm. Ya no se responde sí o no, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Only that I was. Ajá. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay. Seoul. 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 Yeah, Seoul. Here... The structure is, primero, WH word. La palabra de pregunta. What, when, where, who. Luego, was or where. Luego, subject. Subject. And finally, complement. Okay. That's it. These are questions with B, with the past of B. Um, entonces, con eso, pueden trabajar el, el ejercicio. ¿Cuál era? ¿Dónde estaba? Uh, este. ¿Verdad? Ahí se los envié al grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Son varias. <coughs> La primera parte dice: Complete the sentences using was or where. Uh -huh. Second part: Put these sentences into negative. Form. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cambiarlo a negative. Here, fill in the blanks with the right form of the verb to be. Aquí van a poner lo mismo, was or where, was or where. Y aquí, answer the questions using short form. ¿Ya? Respuestas cortas, yes, no, no, I was, no, he was, yes, eh, no, he wasn't, ok, o oh, yes, he was. Respuestas cortas. Work on this, and we are going to check tomorrow, okay? We are going to do this tomorrow. Okay. Okay? It's time to stop tonight. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow with this. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ready?
very you. interesting, very interesting. Very good. So, we continue tomorrow. Uh, ¿Cómo van ustedes con la plataforma? Ustedes se conectaron. Eh, yo, yo ya la terminé. Ah, perfecto. Yo tuve problemas en la parte 3, no he terminado todavía. Hay una parte que no me la... No, no coincide la lámina con las preguntas. Oh. Es lo único de irse en todo lo, todo lo terminal lo tengo bien todito. Ah, ok. Los 20 puntos, los 24 puntos, pero ahí si no, 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 no funciona la plataforma. ¿Y el, ¿Y el examen? Ese lo hice todito, está bien. Ah, va, perfecto. O sea, ahí dice, en el progreso dice que tengo 80. Ah, bueno. Va, va bien, va bien, excelente. Uh -huh. Bien, ok. Sigan ahí. Ok, people. Have a good Thank night. You, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. In the night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.